but we enjoy our grumpiness and laugh at it, which makes us have fun with it, which makes us not grumpy. It's an odd paradox. Um, asked me if I wanted to be in the movie and I said no and here I am. <laughs> cool, where are we? Uh, we are at Overland Expo X. We're in with the turtleback herd. <laughs> and we're getting ready to head out to the exposition area. We'll be riding bicycles out there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go say hi to all of our friends. We know seven or eight people here. Um, plus, we're meeting new people. We're making new friends, like our campmates, um, people we've met once or twice, people we've we only know on the internet, or I do. Do you know anybody on the internet? Some. I've heard of. <laughs> heard of them? With. Anyway, we're gonna go, and I'm just gonna delete all this. <laughs> this battery-operated truck is. Attracting quite the crowd. It uh, looks a little goofy. The concept's cool. What do you think? You want one? No. <laughs> been been great. In fact, this expo overall has been. Would you say this was our most fun? Probably yes. Yeah. Most fun we've had in an expo yet. The last couple years, the disorganization made it a lot less fun. Getting in and out of here was, in the last two years, very awkward, very difficult, very irritating. This year, it's been pretty much painless. Um, very enjoyable. Here's Austin. You want to say hi, Austin? To the TV? <laughs> Check it out. Hi, here's, TV. Here's Austin from, wait, come back. Turtleback. Austin from Turtleback Trailers, he was he would wanted to tell us how awesome it is having us as customers. Oh yeah, it's great to have everyone here together. <laughs> and you, he didn't look the camera in the eye when he said that. And, and hey, I, knew, I looked the customer in the eye. I knew he'd get political about it too. And <laughs> give give a nice answer of everybody's awesome. <laughs> they are every. Well, this is our first herd of turtles event. Awesome bunch of people. We yeah. made three, four, five new friends. Um, friends of friends too. Friends and of friends of friends, yeah, the folks you can see right. So we caught up with Tim. We're watching these Jeeps. So they have this demo with the, uh, see that Jeep in the mud back there? So showing how these general grabber tires do not get stuck in the mud um, <laughs> while they're stuck in the mud. So what they're doing now is strategically parking this truck on the rocks right in front of it so we can't see it. <laughs> oh, oh, see? More throttle. Back up, hit it, jump into it. <laughs> jump. As we were walking off, we ran into the boss of that booth, who he just kind of, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and Dragon Lady went off. She's <laughs> like, well, we were doing good until your guy over there. <laughs> like, holy crap. Yeah, so he, uh, he smooth things over for us. And we're, we're friendly with at least now the boss of that booth and that product. And he even explained to us, yeah, we could upgrade to that new thing. Turtleback is handing out free beers. So we got our Turtleback beers, and we're now 
checking in with Sierra Expeditions. Saying hi to our good buddies here. And that's the key is Max Tracks and all that. We're we're actually backstage at Sierra Expeditions now. Saying hi to Will. Say hi, Will. Will's the owner of Sierra Expeditions. Oh man. <laughs> My go-to guy for any time. I don't know stuff, which is often. <laughs> Quite have, often. And I have questions. I go to Will. Will gives me the best answers. We have way more fun that way though. Yeah. Well, we're, uh, we're in Mesa, Arizona, 101 in Broadway. Uh, you can reach us at sierraexpeditions.com. Otherwise, our phone number is 866-507-4254. Nice. And awesome. Littleback's giving out beer. Awesome. We're right over there. Um, I don't drink beer. Oh, that's right. I don't either. <laughs> Same reason. But... Uh, it's the weekend. It's a yeah. special weekend, so I'm cheating. Okay. I even ate a burrito with the tortilla yesterday. Awesome. So. Oh, there's that guy. We know that guy. Hey, John. <laughs> yeah. Because. I got a really good reputation in building my friend's trucks. Oh, I'm standing on the cash register here. That's all right. Well. So. Yeah, and Sierra is. Uh, Kind of a full-service, dedicated overland shop and off-roading shop. Um, everything you need: Jeeps, Forerunners, FJs, Tacoma. Tacomas. We're not vehicle specific. I mean, we're oh, working. Oh. On, we're working on a Subaru coming up they're, here. I don't know who Subaru we're working on. They're doing. Uh, they're doing some <laughs> cute stuff to Dragon Lady Subaru next week. And it's cool how. Like this community, you can talk, you can meet somebody for the first time, and because of this shared interest, shared experience, you're pretty much talking from a point of commonality. It's like you've known each other for a long time. Yeah, he's got a huge amount of experience, and we just talked and talked for like maybe an hour about that kind of stuff. Awesome, like that, just like we've known each other for a long, long time. I dig that. There's also this funny awkwardness that, like, you follow people on YouTube and you kind of get to know them just from their content all the time. But then you meet them for the first time and it's like, you know them like you've known them for a year. They don't know you. They never seen you before. <laughs> this total stranger. And it's, there's this weird lopsidedness to that that I noticed that, uh, you know, like, whenever... Whenever we're talking to Kevin from Lifestyle Overland, it's like that. Although he and I correspond a bit and, and chat a bit online. Um, but we're not friends. But I feel like we're friends because you see these videos, you get to know these people. Their, their lives on the road. Uh, same thing with Mac and Owen from uh, Bound for Nowhere. And there's another tie there. We'll, we'll actually get into that. We're going to stop in and say hi to them again. Um, we're out wandering around, and we've run into... You're the winners of the... What was this contest again? We won the Cool Ride competition. And, well, this is Owen and Mac from Bound for Nowhere. Right? Yes, that's us. That right? Yes. Um, and it's a weird thing how we kind of know them already anyway. Um, besides, we follow you guys yeah. on Instagram. And that's yeah. always a cool story through all the different trucks and were builds of yeah. vehicles you guys have lived in. They live permanently on the road, yep, which is years. kind of an envious thing. <laughs> to me, less so to Dragon Lady, <laughs> <laughs> kind of for me. Um, but when about long, well, almost a year ago, yeah. when I decided to start our YouTube channel, um, Got a couple of months into that and decided, you know what, I think we need a logo or something, some kind of branding yeah. that I tried to do one myself and it was fairly mediocre. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, have you seen it? Have you yes. seen the old one? Yeah, you, yeah. I, the sketches were sent to me. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to reach out to some friends I know that uh, do some media work yeah. and in a whole different industry thoroughly unrelated to Overland, but they kind of get the flavor and they could do the work. So that that guy said, I have just the Yeah, so And I went, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk yeah, about Keith I, Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll jump in here. Uh, so Keith <laughs> yeah. is a client of mine, and he was like, hey, I got this guy. 
he what, he's like huh, military background. You got a military background. Overlanding. You're over. You're perfect. Let's design a logo for him. And yeah, it was it was easy because I get it. We get each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm just thinking, all right, cool. He's but got I, the perfect artist. Yeah, right? we weren't in Do communication directly with no, each other. No, no, I dealt with Keith. Yeah. You dealt with I Keith. I dealt with Keith. <laughs> and, and not so much in the middle. But somewhere in there, over time, Keith had mentioned, you know, here's how you can find them on Instagram and on their webpage. And I looked and I started following you guys on Instagram. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I like what they're doing. Um, and I followed the Sun Raider build yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. 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 It looked cool. It looked like a lot of fun building it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did not look like fun driving it. It was not, and that's why we don't have it anymore. <laughs> um, and so once the artwork was finalized, then I finally I reached out to Mac. I said, hey, this stuff looks awesome. Thank you very much. And a little bit of chats here and there. Yeah. Uh, and then we happened to be in the same place at the same time this weekend, As so we you came do. and met. Yeah, um, it's always put. It's so nice weekends like this, getting to put names and faces together, yeah, that's turning that's internet that's friends into myself. real friends. Um, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's been an incredible weekend. Uh, it's just or as I say, imaginary internet friends yeah, I mean, <laughs> become real people. Yeah, um, IRL, I like that. If you will, <laughs> I like that, and I do that a lot through Facebook with that whole other industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. um, dozens and dozens of people have become real new friends. Yeah, and that's what this weekend at Overland Expo has been about for us is just yeah. all these people through social media that we talk to yeah. social, me social media is like a really weird beast yeah there's a lot of negative things that you could say about it but this is enough of good for me to like completely override any of the negative stuff it's just amazing if we're never alone as far as we may roam we're never alone because there's an amazing community of people that supports and stands behind people who travel yeah. Yeah. And it's probably really the two most notable are yourselves, because we had already that yeah. kind of That's dealing to yeah. We got to know each other through business. the yeah, business well. side. Yeah. yeah. And also, over with the Rome built folks, um, is one of the sprinter vans. Yeah. They're jiu jitsu guys. Yeah. They're jiu jitsu folks. And we train jiu jitsu also. So we, we caught up with them yesterday. We sat and talked for an hour just about that shared culture that's not even overlanding or life on the road or any of that kind of stuff. Just jiu jitsu. It's like mine. They all, they all um, managed to find their way to the same place. It's just neat that you can just do that. Like, you just know these people. Yeah. Whom you've never met before. Yeah. I love it's that. Cool. It's really good stuff. It's a much smaller world than you think it is. Oh, it's yeah. this big. Yeah. yeah. This big. Such well, that particularly when you popped up on that Live Work Wander video. Oh, her dear Jorge and Jessica. I, That's what I got going for. I was just looking at the screen going, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Worlds <laughs> collide. I know her. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh. And yeah. that was, I, was like, I, I think, maybe the same week that years, Keith yeah, and I were finishing up the business. Oh, yeah, you did. It all did kind of happen. Delivering all the last of that work. That's right. Oh, my God. This world just shrunk a lot. Yep. <laughs> like I said, like mine. They, they yeah. managed to find them each other and I like commune, it. if you will. Um, so, kind of obligatory, but I mean it. Uh, we're in the Phoenix area. If you guys ever need anything. Uh, uh, oh, absolutely. Um, Thank you. Well, within the Phoenix area or even a short bound from the Phoenix area if you need help. Anything. Thank you. That means yeah. a lot. Be it's sure always, to hit us. Always really important. Thank you guys so much. It was so nice so, to meet you. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Oh, this is so good. I love it. Thank this you. is what this stuff is all about. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Safe travels, you guys. Products wise, there's nothing really earth shattering in the products of the products, so we're not covering a lot of that. Um, you know, we're. We're satisfied with our build, so we're not here looking for things. We're good with what we got. Like I said, we're satisfied with our build, with our kit, our gear, uh, for now, for the year. So, we're, uh, we're not looking at that much, although Garmin's new navigation thing kind of kicked our asses. Do you remember what that was called? Huh? The new Garmin, what it's called? Overland? The Garmin Overland. Um, it was funny because we were we were just buying a mount, a dash mount for our, we bought an inReach, now we're replacing our spot with an inReach. 
So we stopped in that booth and uh, we had a technical question about using the inReach that we already have, but we wanted a mount for it. Uh, and the technical question of how can we use that inReach as the GPS antenna on our, on our Samsung tablet for navigation. And so then we started talking about navigation software, the Gaia, uh, HEMA, which is, uh, what else, the old USA photo maps that I used to use in the FJ, which was some homemade hobby version of navigation software that some guy made, uh, and did an okay job with it. I used that for years and had a great time on a little 10-inch Windows netbook mounted to the dash. Um, uh, and I said, you know, for the motorcycles we use, I told the guy at Garmin, I said, for the motorcycles we use the Montana, the Garmin Montana, and that is a fantastic device. If I could have that in the size of a tablet, and he went, uh, you haven't heard? No. And he pointed at a device that was the size of a small tablet. And I went, oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, I have to have that. And he said, <laughs> oh, well, I was in the middle of the, talking to the guy, but anyway, and I kept glancing over at it, but when, when I said Montana and he said, yeah, that's your guy right there, that device, and I went, oh, shit, you're kidding me. So that I have to have it. We, we leave for three weeks on a trip, and I'll replace that tablet with that right now. He said, well, it's not on the market till the end of June. Ah, crap, we'll be in the middle of our trip end of June. I said, give me a demo, give me a, a T&E model. We'll test it for you. It'll already be to market when we get done testing it. But he's like, no, we've already got that covered. All the pre-production models for testing are out there being tested. Damn it. Uh, so we will later on, probably towards the end of summer, be buying that device. And oddly enough, it's not much more than the Montana, about the same price as the Montana of which we already own two for the two motorcycles. But that's the only device, the only product out here that I went, holy crap, yeah. that's cool. I like Garmin. Garmin tends to get it right, uh, both on mapping. I mean, Gaia's got all those layers, and that's kind of cool. And I might, I'm toying with the idea of keeping both devices running. I just stopped back by Garmin because yesterday we were in here and I got introduced. I missed all the hype. Um, and I didn't get your name. I'm Tammy. Tammy. Yeah. Um, missed, we missed all the hype about the, the new uh, Overlander from Garmin. I happened to be here doing some other business and then we were talking about just different solutions for in the truck. And um, I said, you know, it'd be awesome if there was like a Montana 650, like double that size for in a truck. And the guy said, oh, you haven't heard? No, I didn't hear. So we got really excited. So now I'm here with Tammy because I actually want to get a little bit of discussion about this this new product, the the Garmin Overlander. There's a little picture of it. So. Yeah, so the Garmin Overlander is brand new. We just announced it on Friday, and it is a purpose-built overland navigation device. Uh, it's a seven-inch screen. We've got everything preloaded for overlanding. We've got the Garmin map app, uh, app called the Explore that has a ton of different map databases preloaded, so you don't have to mess with that. Uh, so we've got satellite imagery, we have topo maps, uh, we have open street maps, uh, 1 to 100k topos, USGS quads, whatever you want to see there. You can do your trip planning on Garmin Explorer. When I go back to the main menu, I can show you apps that are preloaded. So we've got preloaded, again, one less thing to mess with. Uh, everything is on board on the device. iOverlander, TripAdvisor, Ultimate Public Campgrounds, Foursquare, lots of options there. And then also on the home screen, we have a campgrounds button. When you hit that button, we aggregate all of the campgrounds from uh, each of the apps so you can explore whatever you might want to see, whether it's on-road uh, camping or 
backcountry camping, it's all on there. Uh, we've got pitch and roll built in, and you can calibrate that once you mount the device. We've got a track recorder, altimeter, barometer, compass. And we've got in-reach uh, connectivity built in. So you can uh, pair this with the in-reach mini and comfortably text from the Overlander device. It will, it will pair to the in-reach Explorer Plus as well? Yes, it will. Okay. So that is the Overlander. It's got 64 gigs of internal memory. It also has a micro SD card. Uh, so easy to do your trip planning. You can pair with a backup camera. Uh, you and can load waypoints. How, how big of a micro SD card will it support? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably 128. I'm thinking I would think, maybe. Yes. Um, I don't okay. have that on the spec sheets that I have on. Newer that. Android devices, things like the S10 yes. Plus, are up to terabyte. Okay. But the device has to support that. That's Certainly. why I asked about Certainly. this. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, I don't have that on me. <laughs> no, that's okay. We just announced it on Friday. So. <laughs> Um, I and like that. And for you just mounting, we've got a magnetic mount, and it also has, you might want to show yeah. that, there's the magnetic mount, it comes with a suction cup and also the one inch ball ram mount. It is really designed to be used inside a vehicle, uh, there's no water rating on this, but if you want to take it out to take a, take a hike out from your campsite, the internal battery, if it has a full charge will last about three hours. Okay. So you motorcycle guys that might want something bigger than the Montana? No. This this is not going to go in the rain and the mud. So. Exactly. Yeah, the timing's off. It's not going to happen. So I'm sad. I got one more big, big trip with the, with the Gaia, and then I'm on this for the rest of my life. So. <laughs> Love right. to hear that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, in a second, I'm going to wrap up and start. I'll get changed. Once I get dressed, I can get into busy mode. Dragon Lady's in busy mode right now, and it pisses her off. I was just telling her a few minutes ago. When she gets into busy mode, anybody within eyesight of her, for miles around, that is not in busy mode, irritates the shit out of her. You um, sound like a grumpy old woman. I'm a grumpy old man, so... <laughs> but we enjoy our grumpiness and laugh at it, which makes us have fun with it, which makes us not grumpy. It's an odd paradox. Um, <laughs> see? Now I'm smiling and laughing, talking about what a crumudgeon jackass I am. And you too. Um, yeah, <laughs> she says it in a cranky old lady voice. <laughs> Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, keep him running that guy. I was here yesterday, and I met Michael. Michael or just Mike? Mike. I usually go by Michael, but okay. Mike works as well. Yeah. For, for the first time, I've been an over, I was a late bloomer to Overland Bound, even though I've been around for a little while. Hey, we're just we were getting started. So. Yeah. Um, and we chatted for a while, and I didn't even think to turn on the camera, because I got so involved in the conversation. It was such a great time. Um, and uh, I walked away going, you know what, that's one of the things I want to put on. It's the kind of stuff I want to get this weekend. Yep. Those kind of conversations. Yeah. Uh, the people that that I meet when I come here every year. That's great. That's um, a big part of why we do it. Right? Is to come together and meet and talk. And, meet and, meet and, meet. Yeah. and, it's, and I absolutely love that. And it's, First time, first chance I've had to meet you. I've seen you in videos here and there. Um, and, uh, and we chatted for much longer than I thought we would yesterday, <laughs> probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And I was like, well, that was just a dang good time. So today I realized, you know what, I missed that opportunity. Yeah. And we were just walking by and I went, 
I'm not missing that opportunity. Yep. Let me stop in Great. Hi again. Yeah, glad to be right. yeah, glad to uh, yeah. Awesome time. Do you have a good uh, good expo? It's been yeah. great. I mean, this expo has been really good. We're always surprised. This is our this is our fifth expo, and just every year more and more and more people are it's, coming. Every year it seems get, to be at least thirty percent bigger. Yeah. A couple of years it seemed to be fifty to a hundred percent bigger. Yeah. Um, Maybe four and five years ago, where it seemed to double in size, well, and rapidly outgrew that Mormon Lake location. Yeah, well, the thing is, I, you know, um, depending on who you talk to, people will say, you know, overlanding has gotten past tense so big, and we really believe that it really hasn't even got started. And there's so many people that are like, hey, you know what? I need more adventure in my life. I need to get out there. I need to be exploring. And that's kind of what we're about, is trying to educate people not only on being safe and being prepared, but also, you know, there's more of us out there. So proper land use, how to respect land, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we've seen it just really, really grow in the last few years. One of the things I've liked about Overland Bound in particular is the it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. And I dig that. I mean, yeah. Well, a really bitch in Tacoma, a really bitch in 50 and 4 yeah. runner, uh, is really cool. A yeah. really, a really bitch in Discovery is yeah. really cool. Absolutely, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, oh man, I look a, at the a Subaru look... Crosstrek is awesome. A CRV, just go. Yeah, go do something. Absolutely, get so, out, have fun. What we make sure, I, I make sure to. Uh, you don't want to get caught up on that if you take it the wrong way. It doesn't matter what you drive. It absolutely doesn't. It does matter where you drive. It. Yeah. You know, so there's a big there's a big education component that goes you're, along you're with overlanding. You're not doing steel pass in a CRV. Yeah, no, no exactly. Well, not uphill anyway. And you're not going to take a vehicle out there on the Rubicon that isn't prepared to be on the Rubicon. So doesn't matter what you drive. And that's what I say. Right? Yeah. Start with what you got. Yep. See what. From there, learn what you need. Oh my goodness! Don't 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 come to a thing like this, <laughs> or or go to Instagram and figure out what you need. Exactly, because that's a hundred grand worth of stuff. Exactly, you need water, you need yep. shelter, and you need food, and then everything beyond that is making it easier and more convenient. Right. So you're absolutely right. You brought up a good point. You don't need all the stuff, and certainly in an environment like this, there's lots of stuff. You should just go, right, and yeah. be prepared. Know that you can do it fair, with a fairly limited amount of stuff and still be safe, and then go and, and have it. And then build up to wherever, whatever level you want to stop. At. Yeah. And and make new friends, meet people yeah. that do this. That's what I like about Overland Bound. What uh, what drew me in. Yeah. Um, well, we all started somewhere, and uh, right? and that's. Kind of why, like I said, my focus this weekend is because we we sort of took off within this last year with with a bit of a YouTube channel and some social media, and through that, I'm talking to a lot of people, making contacts just online. Well, a bunch of those people I've met in person for the first time. Yeah, imaginary internet people. They're real. Have become real people, (laughs) and I think I've said that probably 15 times into this little lens. Yeah. Um. Uh. Today. Yeah. But. That's awesome. It's, yeah. a, it's a cool thing. Well, that's what we like. That's, I mean, that's what, that's that's what, what I'm enjoying is. this year the most. That's that's the uh, that's the best part about an event like this. You get to come together and do the community. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's probably what I'll continue to do at this event yeah. uh, forever. Because this has been, for me now, the most enjoyable, the funnest mm-hmm. Overland Expo. And we've done, I'm not sure if we're at six or seven. We've lost count. Yeah. Um, and some years it's been a hassle. Some years it's been like work. Yep. Uh, even though we didn't, there's nothing work about it to us, but it's been hard to do. This year, we forget all that. Yeah. It's gonna, we have Stick old friends from our old days of, of the FJ Cruiser overlanding. Thank you. Yeah. We have new friends. We have uh, new friends from the internet. New friends just from being here yep. that we've never met before. Yep. Um, I know it's a constant. That's, it's what, a, it's, it's a constant. that's what it's about. How's it going? It's, you know, kind of like this is the first year yeah. we've come to this event and just focused on people. Cool. And love that. Yeah. So, and having met you, that was yeah. like yeah. fun awesome. for the first time. So, yeah, you'll definitely nice see more you. of us. Yeah. So, cool. cool. Hey, thanks for thanks for stopping by cool. and thanks. saying hi. Yeah. And, thanks for talking and, to me and including yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Appreciate so, that's it. I talked way too long. 
So we are adjusting the thing. There we go. We're just leaving. We're just leaving Overland Expo West 2019. I keep adding that. Um, this was a good one. It was a very good one. I said that before. We had a great time. Uh, one of the things I wanted to add to the follow-up was uh, organizationally much much better done uh, than the last three or so. Um, uh, yeah, it would appear that the the new organizers uh, this is in their wheelhouse. They know what they're doing, and they they were ready for what's coming. Um, they did a great job. Um, so. I'm sure there will be the detractors and the usual, oh, this was a pain in the ass and this was stupid and I hated it. Uh, eh, well, um, having been through some, the, some very, uh, hurry up, squirrel. We have a squirrel running across the road. Um, uh, some very organizationally challenged versions of this event the last few years. Uh, this one was very well done. Would you agree? I would agree. Um, yeah, and we kind of found our own personal little formula for having a good time here, which was just forget about getting out and seeing all the things. Just that way. go see some people. Uh, well, we, we need to go into Flag so we can hit Lake Mary Road. Oh, okay. Well, that's right. Uh, Cause we're going, we're going home the good way, not the interstate. We're taking, yeah, no. we're taking the 87 back down cause... I-17 sucks. Cause I-17 is the crappest of crap cans of interstates. We hate it. We hate it. Very much. Very, very much. I was just about to say, Dragon Lady's actually getting, like, a little more camera-worthy. Like, it's not pissing her off anymore. That's a start. Um, and just before I'm about to say that, what does she do? Whispers. Get the camera off me. Yeah. So, here we go. Oh, did the trash room get all closed up? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're on the road. We're going home. Um... It snowed. It snowed up here. Yeah, it snowed. We were, uh, the weather was going downhill. The winds were coming up. The temperature was dropping like the proverbial stone. Uh, yeah, temperatures were just dropping like 10 degrees every five minutes. It got down to, in a half hour, it got down to like 30 or 40 below zero Fahrenheit. Um, so we're kind of like, and we had caught up with anything, everything, the, like the last of anything we wanted to do. So we uh, were like, all right, let's make our way back to the back to the bicycles and uh, ride those back to the truck. And uh, just as we're getting to the bikes and we're getting the bikes unbolted from their from their security. Uh, <laughs> Jason Dara from Primal Outdoors came walking up and we had chatted with him a little bit yesterday but he was in the middle of something so it was like hey come find me at my booth well we couldn't find his booth because uh, uh, we weren't sure how to find it and we and we didn't find it so we chatted with him for a couple of seconds and it was obvious you know we wanted to get back to the truck he wanted to get back to his truck but so we just took a quick picture and said a couple hellos and then like what's next off to things and places and all right cool uh we'll probably see you again next year and that was it so that was the end of jason from primal outdoors and, uh there's i believe that's that lexus we just saw no that is a forerunner um we saw a lexus cruising out of the fest grounds um so yeah and that was uh pretty much that concluded our expo west 
the 10th anniversary of the Expo West, an hour we've lost count, 6th or 7th Expo West. Um, so, uh, probably a, a decent way to count it, because we've been to everyone from Mormon Lake into Fort Tuttle. We didn't do however many were down in the Tucson area prior. Those are the only ones we missed, so that's probably the way we can count. But nobody knows when they were in Tucson. And you ask folks, and they're like, I didn't know it was in Tucson. Well, yeah, that was before. Um, anyway. Time to push this button.